Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come and run my mouth. When I tell y'all it was so cold in this apartment, I had every ceiling fan on, and the AC was on 65. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Girl! Nose been running. Girl! So I'm like, why? I'm like, why? It's like, you know, like, you know how sometimes you, like, do stupid stuff, and you don't realize you're doing stupid stuff until you realize, like, you, you, you look dumb? Like, I'm sitting here like cold, like, girl, why is it so cold? You know why it's cold? Because you see the ceiling fan spinning. And you know what your AC is on because you put it on there. <laughs> right? But you're like, why is it so cold? And all of that, right? And, girl, I finally was like, girl, you acting slow. <laughs> girl, go turn the AC up or turn it off, right? And turn the ceiling fan off. And then go blow your nose. Girl. Anyways, all right, so let's go ahead and get into this mess. So this is a two-part story. Uh, this is according to the Neighborhood Talk. Um, cops are ordered to arrest Antonio Brown over unpaid child support. Has to pay 30 k to be released. So neighbors, it looks like Antonio Brown has bigger problems to worry about than getting kicked off a field. According to TMZ, an arrest warrant has been issued for him due to unpaid child support. The payments were made uh, were to be made to his ex-wife, Wiltrish Jackson. Um, per the report, uh, the order was issued by Miami-Dade County, Florida judge on April the 14th. Brown can be uh, Brown can be released from custody if he pays thirty thousand dollars, which the Florida judge ruled is to be applied to his unpaid child support. Jackson and Brown ha uh, had a daughter together during the early part of his football career. The relation went the relationship went sour after she accused him of physical a b u e i. I, I was about to go into a whole like 47 minute rant and I had to catch myself. All right. Girl, literally a few hours later, he made a payment of $32,135 and I think that's 83 cents. And then he also put, everyone wants to see me fail. That's why I have to be great. This is what I don't understand. If you knew that you had a bill out there and this bill was a bill that said that you are supposed to help financially take care of your child for X amount of dollars per month. And it, it, it just goes to show how tired through the late and late, y'all, you got to get arrested for someone to make you pay your bill. You have to have an arrest warrant out for you in order for someone to force you to financially take care of your child. Someone has to threaten you with a clank clank. Somebody has to threaten you and say, if you don't pay your child support, if you don't take care of your child financially, then you will go to jail. So you either have to be put in jail, be threatened, to be put in jail, you have to either have to, you go out, end up having to take a picture sideways, frontwards, hold up a sign that says inmate 572-0037 for you to take care of your children. And the simple fact that, girl, he paid that bill just like that. Can you imagine, can you imagine what Miss Thing, the, uh, I can't think of, I call her Miss Thing, the ex-wife, has been going through. I guarantee you, he, he has been making that woman's life a living H-E double hockey sticks. I guarantee you. Hey, do you think you can send some money to help take care of Ray Ray? No, I think this was a little girl. I don't know the little girl's name. We're just going to call her little Keisha. You know, everybody black named Keisha. Girl, can you, can you, do you think you can send some money to help take care of little Keisha? I ain't got no money. 
that as soon as some white people threaten to arrest you, as soon as some white people put y'all in jail, now all of a sudden, girl, $30,000 just, just magically appear out of thin air. And then here we go. Everyone wants to see me fail. No, we want you to see, we want y'all to start taking care of y'all kids. That's it. That's it. One thing about it, two things to show, three things for certain, girl. It's always the ones who don't take care of their business. It's always the ones who run around here screaming, hollering, girl, with a poster board up, with a sign up, girl. Everybody trying to take down a black man. Because that's pretty much what he's trying to get to. No, girl, you just not, you're not taking care of your responsibility. Everybody knows in my favorite Parks voice. Everybody knows that when you have children, you're supposed to take care of them. <laughs> Everybody knows. Y'all don't know that? That's why I ain't got none. And plus, I don't really like coochie like that. <laughs> That's why I ain't got none, okay? Because you got to take care of them. And I just want to take care of myself and travel the world. <laughs> okay? And two zero. But yeah, that's what's going on with Antonio Brown. All right. Um, all right. So Charles Barkley and Gail King to co-host a new CNN show on social and cultural um, topics. So if you can't get enough of Charles Barkley and Gail King, then you're definitely going to uh, be here for this news. The NBA um, TNT analyst. And the CBS Mornings co-hosts are teaming up for a weekly primetime show on CNN that will cover social and cultural topics of the day. The duo made the big announcement on Saturday, uh, T, uh, TNT's tip, uh, NBA tip-off. King John Barkley, along, the, uh, along with the usual crew, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny Smith, Ernie Johnson, where she and Barkley shared how the new show called King Charles all came about. Oh. That's a cute name. You know, I was like, King Charles. I forgot her last name was Gail King that fast. King Charles. I also feel like that's a, I feel like that's also a way to kind of, I don't know, child. Okay, King Charles. All came about. Barkley revealed that he w wasn't really interested when the new opportunity was brought to the table. When I say I don't know, the, I don't know a lot about Charles Barkley, but I do think I, I've ha I have heard that he say some. I mean, we all say ignorant stuff. You know, I, I, I've said my fair share of ignorant stuff, um, but I feel like he's to be like ignorant, ignorant, ignorant. <laughs> Girl. Um, Barkley revealed that he wasn't really interested when the new opportunity was brought to the table. However, when they mentioned Gail King's name, he was all in. So it's happening, girl. They have a new show coming out. Shout out to them. I guess, girl. And then Tokyo Tony. <laughs> All I did for her, being a whole fucking mother, bitch. A good one. I, I would love for her to tell me my faults, but I know my faults, my shit. And I, I thought it was was gonna be faulty. She never mentioned. I, I'm lost. I'm like, I put I had pistols, you know. Um, she ain't know my business because she had a, a good life. But yeah. <laughs> All I gotta say is this: Girl, when Tokyo when Tokyo Tony did like this. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm gonna say is this about Tokyo Tony and, and, and Black China, and this is this is what I put in the comment section about Black about Tokyo Tony and Black China. Let me find it. I put Angela, keep her blocked. I guarantee y'all Tokyo will be online dragging her daughter again no later than 12 p.m. this Saturday. Watch. Now, I don't know if she drug, I don't know if she drug her today, but I'm, I'm almost sure it's a video floating around somewhere. I, I want y'all to stop. You know, what I, I, you know what I want us all to do? I want everybody. Me, you, your mama, and your cousin too. 
If I've done it, I, I want to, I, please, I hope I haven't done it. I feel like I haven't. I want to say y'all, but I'm going to include myself too, just to be on the safe side. I want us to stop. I probably have done it. I want us to stop being an advocate for people being in toxic relationships with other people just for the sake of a, a, a of being in a relationship with that person and just because they may hold a certain title. I don't give a good goddamn if it's your mama. I don't give a damn if it's your daddy, your best friend, your sister, your daughter, your, your, your son, your nieces, your nephews, your granddaddy, your grandpapa, a bitch you've been knowing since middle school. I don't care. If you are around someone who brings you nothing but stress, anxiety, disrespect, um, like a Tokyo Tony, Angela White does not have to be around someone like that. I don't give a damn if it is her mammy. It ain't no different than people telling Melody Cherie to get back with Martel Holt just just so she could say she got a fucking man. And y'all know that this man has disrespected this woman time and time and time again, has called her a whore on television, has had a baby on this woman, would have had more than that if Ariane wouldn't have sent the other one to heaven, okay? So all I'm saying is not to go into some long rant I don't give a damn about no Tokyo Tony getting on getting online apologizing. She always apologizes, but she always turns around and disrespects her daughter. The way that Tokyo Tony, let me say, I used to go up for Tokyo Tony because I thought Tokyo Tony was just a key. Like to me, Tokyo Tony was just it's not like just a key to me. Like she uh, she a key key. She had me giggling. What time is it? I'm not gonna make it. Um, I was gonna try to meet my family, but I'm just not gonna make it. Uh, I gotta get these videos out. Um, girl, the light bill is due. <laughs> okay. Um, but you know, I used to go up for Tokyo Tony because I always thought she was like a Kiki and I didn't really take her too seriously. And I felt like at one point girl, like Angela was just as, to as toxic. And for those who don't know who Angela is, Angela is black China. She doesn't like to be referred to as black China. So we'll try to respect her wishes. If I mess up sometimes and call her black China, it's not be trying to be, uh, trying to be disrespectful or funny. Um, but, you know, at one point I thought Angela was just as toxic as Tokyo, so I just kind of took it for what it was or what I thought that it was. Um, and I realize that now, you know, Angela is trying to do a 180. And do I think that some of what Angela is doing is for just kind of like, girl. Girl, when, when, I, when I saw that picture. <laughs> girl! <laughs> when I saw that picture of Angela standing in front of that cross like this, <laughs> you know what I said? I hollered. I said, okay, girl, now you're doing too much. <laughs> My sister had never seen that picture. I showed, I literally showed her this on Thursday. She didn't know what I was talking about. Girl, when I said Angela was standing in front of that cross, I said, okay, girl, you had me at the re removing the fillers, the butt reduction, the breast reduction. Okay. You had me at whatever tattoo she said she was going to remove. I don't know. Okay. Okay. But then it's kind of like, okay, girl, now you're doing too much. But anyways, I always thought that Angela, girl, my nose is still stopped up. I always thought that Tokyo was someone who um, was just a kiki and a giggle, honestly. And I didn't really take what she did too seriously. And then when I saw how disrespectful she was to her daughter and the way that she would treat Angela like some random off the street, I just be like, damn. My like, girl. Like, girl, she, girl, you doing a lot. Like, girl, you doing a lot, a lot. Like, okay, girl, you doing a lot. Like, you doing too much now in uh, t Tokyo. Tony, girl, calm down. And I'm just at, I'm just at it, I'm just at, at the point where when I see people in the comment section, we all think how we want to think, girl. When I see people in the comment section, um, and y'all like, oh, girl, that's your mama. We all go through stuff. Girl, no, we don't. No, we don't. Everybody, my, my mama ain't never talked to me like the way Tokyo Tony be talking to uh, Angela. My mama ain't talked to none of her kids like that, okay? 
They ain't gonna say we ain't never got our ass cussed out. <laughs> hey, okay. But girl, we probably was doing something we had no business doing. But girl, we ain't never got talked to. Like, girl, Tokyo be talking to that girl rough. Now, she'll be directly talking to her because she talked to her on the internet because Angela got her blocked. But Tokyo be talking to Angela rough. I said, oh my God. And then for y'all to kind of pressure Angela through the internet to, you know, have some type of relationship with this woman who disrespects her every other day at 3.37 p.m. on the dot, okay? It's like, no. So anyways, girl, let me go try and blow this nose. Girl, it's cold in here. And I'll probably be back. Because <sighs> I'm not making it to dinner. I'm going to try to go to my sister's house and hang out with my mom and them for a little bit. I might be over there for like an hour and then come back and then, because um, they're coming back next weekend, child. Um, but I might go over there. I don't know. Because they're coming back next weekend. That's why I think I'm not in a hurry. Because I know they're coming back next weekend. Um, or at least that's the plan because I really got stuff I need to talk about and I, I'm behind on Real Housewives in New Jersey behind on Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip it's just so much stuff I gotta do and you can't do it when you're in the streets so anyways but I'm gonna try to get these videos out for y'all these hot topics because I'm like literally like six hot topic videos behind Um, all right I, my eye jumping? Girl, why is she jumping? Girl, y'all saw my eye jumping? All right, y'all, let me go. All right. Bye, y'all.